All right, so today I want to give you a look at what a shoot day looks like for me. And every day is a little bit different. Today I actually have three games, a wrestling match, high school girls basketball game, and a Boston College men's basketball game. All right, so before I even start the day, I gotta charge my batteries, I gotta clear some memory cards, make sure I have enough space for the five to 7,000 photos I'll take over the three events. All right, so take a look. Today I'm taking with me my 5D Mark III 7200, uh, my little harness, a 300F 2.8, and behind that, you actually, I don't know if you can see it, there's a 7D Mark II. Check to make sure I got my credentials and my computer. In that bag, I also have a couple extra card readers and cords, which I'm putting also into my backpack, just to make sure if one fails, I can still get the cards read uh, while I'm at that game later. I put in a light and an extra battery because the wrestling room's really dark. And a light stand, and you can't see, but I have my 1DX Mark II along with a wide-angle lens, 1635, which I'm using to film the video. Heading out to the first gig of the day. Got three shoots today. Got a snack. Got my bag. Got my other bag. And should be a fun day. 15 seconds into that. So for these wrestling photos, this is what I could be shooting at. Um, and it would work, that's not that bad, but figure I add the light, I can shoot at 1600 ISO knock down that noise a little bit, and shoot at F4, get a little more depth of field, especially with wrestling, they're moving so quickly, so many body parts around, sometimes it focuses on a different spot, so I can get a little bit more leeway on my images, and still at 1 500th of a second, but with the flash, it freezes the motion even a little bit more than it would without the flash, so uh, overall, I think I get better images, and it's not that much extra work. For the girls basketball game, we're shooting at 6400 ISO, uh, F2.8 and one thousandth of a second. All right, so just finished girls basketball. Driving down to BC for game number three of the day. Also, it's uh, time for a snack. And I'll get to the game, set my chair down on the court to make sure I mark my spot, open up my computer, make sure everything's working, set up my code replacement, which I'm gonna show you now, so if you're not interested, feel free to skip forward. So early in the day, I actually did this part, but I do some code replacement since I'm shooting for USA Today, which is a wire service, which means I need to provide captions to my images, and I'm uploading in the first half, at halftime, and at the end of the game. You can actually see a little bit of how the code replacement works. So I just test that out a little bit just to make sure it's working. That way I don't have to troubleshoot during the game and lose time. And here you can see me almost getting run over. All right, just got back from BC. It's about midnight and too hyped up from shooting. Uh, so I'll probably just get some Instagram posts ready before I actually go to bed. So I hope that gave you a little insight into what goes on in a typical shoot day for me. Um, even though it wasn't totally typical, but give you a, a sense even more of different events that I'll shoot in different ways. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to get them answered in a following video. Thanks.